Hall um, of Famer. Let's go. You, Let's I'm go. telling you, nothing, nothing made me happier than you announcing that. And do you remember what you said? Yeah. One of my favorites. One of my favorites. Fred God and everyone. And <laughs> well, congratulations. Thank you. You know, what was really cool about this is, you know, I hadn't seen you, honestly. Think about how long it's been since I've seen you. I know. It's been a long time. But I remember, I remember going to, uh, like when I first interviewed with you, you know, I was, as a new artist, yeah. it was like, you know, you do so many of those as a new artist, so many interviews. And then there's certain ones you do that are just like comfortable they're easy they ask different questions and you don't feel like you're doing the same thing and that was you know that that was you so it was uh as a young artist you make it very easy and like i don't know kind of laid back which was which is nice that's really that is so nice yeah. thank you thank you so much so really. well deserved it meant so much well and you won the humanitarian award and i gotta tell you there's a lot of people who don't know all the things you do i don't know if they can look it up on the internet mind-boggling what this guy does it's really amazing well thank you very it's, much it's true i mean you know how to give back well you know i feel like to me as much as i was um honored to to get that award you know it's it's kind of weird when you're up there going well when you're getting an award for something like that i don't right. know it was, <clears throat> it was kind of weird to give a speech on that but i just feel like you know when you're in a position like a lot of us most of us in here are where you've kind of been blessed with all these things like it's crazy to not do that i feel like it's an obligation really so yeah. um so yeah so but it, it was great and you know i i enjoyed doing those things so it was but it was it was a big honor so i appreciate it it was an yeah. honor to me too i'm glad we could share that we'll always yes. have that we had a moment i know we did have a moment so all right so you're gonna have a moment here on the acms you're up for three awards right yes and you have won before you you've won acms before oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. so acms have been really good to me over the years i have to say yeah so yeah it's uh it's it's been it's been good so all right so then like do you have a stress level with any of this stuff now after all these you know a lot of years you know i think there's always kind of that excitement i don't know if it's stress as much as it's just sort of excitement and uh you know if you're performing you know it's live you want to do a good job yeah um that's really the main thing for me and you know but it's also i've been fortunate enough to you know have, i've been at this show now for the last 17 years or something oh my 16 gosh. years that many years yeah so wow. um you know so it's gotten to the point now where you know i'm a lot more comfortable being here than i probably was in the beginning i'm sure you know when you're a new artist you're walking around you're like damn that's tim mcgraw <laughs> that's george straight you know all these yeah. guys walking by that you know you kind of looked up to all these years and so um it's definitely different now and and you know uh, a feeling of belonging here and like uh it's just more comfortable i bet now yeah. are you performing and presenting yes oh you're doing both yes all right. so how heck to get the rehearsals do you just go i haven't done up? it yet you go I'm, i've been here 17 years i know what to do i'll be at the bar yeah well <laughs> i mean if they would take that as, as as an answer i would be in but um but no i actually go to rehearsals today i haven't been yet i just got in town last night so i go to rehearsals when i leave here today got it and uh kind of see it for the first time myself all so right we'll cool see. cool all right so you've got Macon and then Georgia is coming out, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. When's Georgia coming out? Uh, April 22nd, I believe it is. Okay. Um, and yeah, you know, so when we did this double album, we really didn't have a plan for it. We didn't know if we were going to drop it all at one time or if we were going to stagger it's it. a lot of songs. Yeah. So we, you know, when we decided to stagger it, it was like, you know, the, both albums were done at the same time. Right. So we've been kind of sitting on the, on the back half of the album, just sort of waiting to release it. So I'm, I'm excited for April to roll around, roll around and uh, finally get a chance to, to put out the rest of the album. And um, first single, Trouble with the Heartbreaks, off of that part so of the good. record. So, so good. Yeah, thank you. So we're, we're excited and uh, also gives us a bunch of new songs to throw in to the set when we start touring in, in July. And that's a big tour I saw. Yeah, so got Gabby Barrett going out with us this year. Who awesome. obviously is having you know a great couple years and, you know, starting her career. Um, and then a, a new artist that we're working with that we signed um, to my record company, we're producing him, a kid named John Morgan that um, he was actually a songwriter on the Carrie duet that we had. Oh, no kidding. And the new single, Trouble with a Heartbreak. So um, he's a great writer, great singer. So he's going to come out and open the show for us. And then DJ Silver, my buddy, who's always out there. Oh, right, spinning. yeah. And so he's, uh, he's going to be out there. So it's going to be a fun year. Yeah. That's awesome. By the way, how'd you get Carrie to do a love song? Have you ever looked at her catalog? She doesn't do love songs. Well, 
<laughs> you know, I think the thing with Carrie and I is like we've we've sort of hit the scene about the same time. You know, we yeah, we kind of came out and and sort of watched each other's careers do their thing, and and so I think her and I kind of probably always figured we would do something together at some point. Um, and this song just, I mean, she was just the person that I was like. You know, if if we're going to get told no by anybody, it's going to be her first. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> right. So she was the first person I wanted to, to really target for that. I thought she would do great and uh, send it to her. And, you know, luckily she she climbed on board and, and, and did it. And it's been great. I mean, we got, you know, three nominations Bam, here. nominations. We got a exactly. Grammy nomination. We got, you know, just a lot of stuff going on. And so uh, it's been a big song for us, for sure. Awesome. Well, congratulations. I mean, you've had a big couple of years despite the pandemic. And you're on the, on the road for another one. There <laughs> we go. 2022. He got to own it. Come see me on the road. I'm going Come to. On. I'm going to. <laughs> Jason Aldean, everybody, perhaps you recognize him. <laughs>